It costs nothing to be daring. Be bold, fiery, live without fear, and you may find yourself surprised by what you obtain. Hey guys, it's me, Granti Bandis. Just sitting here casually, dressed as an animal, animal print necklace as a bandeau, a simple feather, just a casual look for an exciting video enveloped in red. Let's turn on some incense and get this underway. There's something so fun about playing with fire. Cedar. Smells amazing. So as you may have noticed by the title, today we're gonna to talk about interior design but a different version, something to bring your place to the next level. Magic, exciting, bring it to a different palette, so to speak. So I found this very interesting website and an article within this website. The website, it's called Decorilla. And from my understanding, it's an interior design service where you can pay to have someone help you design your home. But what I found interesting is the article that was listed within. And the article is 10 ways to create a sexy interior. So let's get it twisted and let's get it going. Number one, be boldly red. As a dominant decor color, most of us shy away from it. Red is unapologetic and confident. It stirs energy and evokes passion. Why not step out of our comfort colors and make a statement? You could do so much with this color. Paint an accent wall. Perhaps it could be some fun pillows, a comforter. There's something so fiery and passionate about red and what it evokes. So definitely upping the sexy factor. Number two, set the mood with lighting. Nothing does more to create romance in a space than the perfect lighting. Sconces or pendants that cast patterns and shadows add an element of interest with kinetic light sources like scented candles or a fireplace create the cozy atmosphere that makes you want to cuddle up. Absolutely. When you think of, when you think of construction, or you think of how your house looks. Most of the time, it's simple lights, but you know, you can take it one step further. Find yourself an interesting light. Go to flea markets, go to thrift stores, find some unique chandeliers or wall sconces. Think glass, think metal, smoky, something that looks a little old and mysterious. Think of floor lamps, hallway lights, something that you can change. And of course, the original, candles. You absolutely cannot go wrong with candles. It's just something about watching that flame flicker that just evokes the most exciting thoughts that can come to the mind. Number three, leather. Leather can have a certain effect. Don't underestimate this finish when talking about decor. Leather on chairs, sofas, ottomans can be soft and supple. In deep, rich colors, they can draw attention to a room. You know, they're absolutely not wrong here. There is absolutely something about leather. It's animal, it's soft, it's powerful, it's essentially skin. It can be, uh, easily cleaned for whatever reason you may have and there's just something so interesting about it you know there's leather belts there's leather shoes but absolutely leather furniture can exist as well even regular uh couches that have leather um exterior aesthetic pieces and additions to them can be a fun little touch to add additional leather trays leather bookends. There's fun little ways that you can bring in this wonderful material to your home to definitely up that sexy factor. Number four, make it about the view. 
If you're blessed with windows overlooking a coastline or city skyline, let the view speak for itself. Often it inspires euphoria. Well, not all of us have the ability to have an amazing view, but from my interpretation, what I think this means is, is if you have an amazing view, don't hide it with shades, don't hide it with curtains. Let it be fully exposed. It's like a painting, a living, breathing, moving piece of art, and just allow it to take up the space and speak for itself. But for those of us that do not have some spectacular view to look for, we can play with our windows and have exciting curtains, fun colors, something that can really bring attention and hide in a space to make the room look interesting. Number five, expose your wild side. There's something gorgeously exotic about animal print decor. Based on nature's design, they can be reminders of our primalness. Well, look no further. It could be your clothes. It could be your pillows. It could be your blankets, your sheets, comforters throw blankets, it could be shower curtains, it could be small accessory finishes, trinkets, trays, vases, cups. There's so many fun ways that you can bring animal print and all types of animal print. Tiger, leopard, cheetah, jaguar, there's giraffe, zebra, just think about the African safari and all of the incredible prints. How about snake, python, anaconda, all of these exotic, alligator, very high-end finishes. Think like Hermes and the Birkin bag or an impeccably crafted leather belt or purse. Definitely adds the va va voom sexy factor. So highly agree with that. Let loose with wallpaper. Let's face it, paint is pretty predictable. Giving your living room an ax a textured accent wall or your bedroom walls a shimmery finish with wallpaper can bring in excitement and spontaneity to your interior design. I love this idea. And you know, I think wallpaper gets a bad rap because everyone likes to say, oh, it's outdated, it's not cool, and you know what? For certain types of wallpaper, yes and absolutely. But there's so much fun wallpaper that you can have right now. Um, there's exciting finishes. It's not just a plain matte. You can have it with metallic finishes or various colors. Like, why not make it something interesting? It could be something geometric, something metallic, maybe something powerful. Maybe it could almost be like a painting, so to speak, but it happens to be on the wall. Plus, what I like about wallpaper is unlike paint, which will show scuffs, it'll show marks, it'll show a stain. Depending on the wallpaper and the color, and if it happens to be darker, it'll shield these uh, things. And instead of having to worry about how to fill an empty wall with art or pictures, you can have wallpaper that can speak for itself. And nothing is better than speaking for oneself. Less is more. I don't even wanna read this because I might almost die. As you know, I'm all about more is more, but less is more. Furniture with sleek lines and bold form, a singular piece of art against the expanse of a wall. The focus on the merging of materials. This is the minimalist style, hot or what? So I will say there's definitely something to that line of thinking. When you walk into an Ikea and you see this like minimal look, there's definitely something about it. It's very clean, which is what I think people are attracted to. They just like how it looks, how it feels. There's so little everything. The main focus is on the bed, which really is the whole point, you know, a meeting of the minds and that is the priority. Unfortunately, that will definitely not be something that I do. However, I can absolutely appreciate it when you look at this like German design and everything is just straight and bold and simple and it's the bed and that's really all you're focused on. I mean, very admirable design for sure. Canopy beds, your private getaway. 
There's always been a romantic quality of draping fabric enveloping a bed, whether a luxurious four-poster canopy or a more relaxed circle canopy. These give the feeling of making your bed a special place. What can I say about canopy beds? It just evokes the imagery of like the medieval times, princesses, kings and queens, Marie Antoinette sleeping under this luxurious feature, almost like your own private home. And depending on the type of material, think beautiful white cotton or silk just billowing in the wind or something a little darker held back by ropes that you can release and create your own private getaway for two, one, or more. Um, I definitely love the idea of canopy beds. Oh, I feel my leopard is falling. We do not want that. Perfect. So yes, canopy beds, definitely a very cool idea. For me, it just makes me think of royalty from back in the day and who doesn't want to live out their uh, royal fantasies? Number nine, evoke emotion through art. I love this. Arouse feeling through your choice of art. Black and white photography, charcoal figure drawings, or beautifully colorful curves found in paintings can all add an element of sensuality to your space. <coughs> it was so sensual, I had to sneeze. I can totally agree. Think of beautiful black and white images Brigitte Bardot smoking a cigarette, maybe Kate Moss, or some charcoal figure where you have no idea what you're looking at, but there's definitely something about that black, white, and gray combination of color that definitely just adds a very je ne sais quoi mentality and idea to a space, and I love it. Of course, I'm definitely a proponent of art. I think art can be sexy in many colors and forms. And I personally have many different versions of art that isn't just black and white or charcoal and definitely is colorful and, in my opinion, sexy. So really, it's all for you. But yeah, why not spice up a space with something interesting? Maybe a Helmut Newton photograph, if you're into that. His work is definitely va va voom. I feel like that's the word of this video, va va voom. Drink up if you're playing a game. And yeah, definitely all about evoking emotion through art. I can't say enough how art is a wonderful means for someone to be able to say what's on their mind if they're not able to say it themselves or express an opinion or let it be known how you feel about something. So without a doubt, definitely a great choice to liven up your space, make it sexy, make it you. Let's see what the next one is. And we've reached the last one. Take points from the sexy black dress. Black can be dramatic and somber, but it's also very attractive. Consider an accent wall, cabinets, furniture in this color to offer your space an element of intrigue and class. I love this concept. There is definitely something absolutely sexy about black. Think Chanel. Think about the little black dress. Think about, you know, lacquer, just a shiny black. Can't go wrong with it a black wall, black light, some type of black furniture, black paint, how about black serverware, even frames, whatever it may be, a vase, boxes, you know, something it's like, wow, look at this. Everyone always loves to wear black because they know it's a very elegant color, it's slimming, it's just something about it. So I definitely agree with that. So that being said, these are, from this website's opinion, 10 ways to create a sexy interior. Be boldly red, set the mood with lighting, leather, focus on the view, expose your wild side, let loose with wallpaper, less is more, canopy beds, art, 
and the little black dress. So thank you guys for joining me for another fun interior design video. Hopefully this can uh, be used for you to add some fun to your space, change it up a bit, play around, experiment. You never know what's you, what you'll like, what's all about you. Um, take a look at the video I had yesterday where I did the Jonathan Adler haul. This is just one of the boxes that was made or came with uh, one of the things that I bought the coasters, but look at it. This could be art by itself without the cap. Now it's a fun little um, tray that I have and I love the color and the design and the symbolism. So it's boldly red, it has black, it's metallic. It's a fun shape, is this sensual? I don't know, maybe it is, but that being said, Thank you so much for joining me for another fun video. Above all else, just, you know, have fun. Have fun with your life, have fun with yourself. Be adventurous, try something new. You only live once, so why not make it something exciting and something that you can look back on and have a chuckle, even if it's something silly. But you know what? It means it's something that you tried. Look at me just flipping all over my words. So that being said, as always, thank you so much and We'll talk soon. See you on the other side. Bye.